Hi, my name is Griffin, if you don't know me already, and my capstone is on Apple Computers. I chose this topic because I think that I know a good amount about iPhones, but honestly, I know nothing about old computers, so I wanted to learn more about it. So, first I came up with a main inquiry question, which is the question that all of my research is based around. And I decided that it should be one of the crucial events in the evolution of Apple computers. Then, after a small bit of research, um, I came up with, well, I found five main crucial events in the evolution of Apple computers. One of them is the Apple One in 1976, the Apple Two in 1977, <coughs> the Macintosh in 1984, Apple's downfall, which was in the mid-90s, and Apple's saving computer, which was in 1998. So first, let's start with the Apple One. This is Apple's first ever computer that they ever made. And when you see this, you'll think that's just a typewriter, it's not a computer, but actually, it can do a lot more than you think. What you can do is you can plug it into a TV from using that outlet, and then you can type from the computer, then it would get mirrored on the TV. Then only one year later, Apple came out with this computer. Big difference. This one, and when they made this computer, after their huge success in app from the Apple One, they had a factory, and they had a place to work and people working for them, other than the Apple One, which was made by the two founding fathers of Apple, Steve Wozniak and Steve Jobs. And it was actually made in Steve Wozniak's bedroom, of it, but this one, one year later, made in a factory. This one, and this one, it can do so much more stuff and it was a huge difference in Apple's computers. Now if we go to the Macintosh, one of Apple's most famous computers, and a, few, and a bunch of you probably heard of this computer before, and I slightly heard of it before, but I had no clue why it was so special and why it was so important, so I did a lot of research on this computer and I realized that it started personal computing. The computers before this, they were big, bulky, expensive, hard to use. But this computer was user-friendly, fast, not extremely expensive, and it was extremely helpful and useful. Then, a bunch of years after the Macintosh came out, Apple started going downhill. The first way they started going downhill was they fired Steve Jobs, and he got fired from his own company that he created, and he went to another technology company called Next. And that company also wasn't doing that well, but when they weren't doing that well, Apple also wasn't doing that well. They made a bunch of bad computers. One of the bad computers was the Apple II GS, there was nothing entirely special about it, and, they, and it didn't have that many major differences, but the biggest difference was Steve Jobs did all of the marketing and made sure everyone knows about that computer, and since they didn't have Steve Jobs, not that many people knew about this new computer, so the word didn't really spread, and they didn't have that many sales, and also, the Macintosh 2 also didn't have that big of a difference, and there wasn't advertised correctly, and so again, they didn't have that many sales. Then Apple was pretty much hopeless, so they decided to hire Steve Jobs again, and they made that computer that saved Apple, the iMac G3. It was fast all-in-one, and it was brightly colored other than the ugly beige that all the other computers were. And it really just helped Apple get out of the bad computer streak that they were in. And Steve Jobs, and everyone knew about the computer because Steve Jobs advertised it so much. 
and it really just helped the business turn into what it is now. I also had to do an interview, and I interviewed my old technology teacher at Fox Meadow, <coughs> Peter McKenna, and he helped me so much. He gave me a bunch of facts, and he helped me turn my small facts into, into bigger, more presentable things that actually make sense. And he, and you have no clue how much he helped me, and I have no clue how I'd be able to say all this without him. And so, if you want to learn more about my topic, you can scan the QR code, or you can type in the link down below. Thanks.